Hello, welcome or welcome back beautiful people to all my subscribers and visitors. I would love to thank you because you guys motivates me to do this to do what i love and enjoy and if you are new here my name is aisa i do feature handbags and a bit of style sometimes or once in a while and i'm doing this for fun so if you're just here to watch the video i want to thank you but if you want to support my channel then feel free to like share and subscribe okay before anything else i would love to thank everyone who have watched my videos especially the one that hits 31k uh, in a span of three weeks or almost four weeks i would say and that is my entire coach bag collection oh my god i did not expect that video will hit that number of views so thank you thank you again guys to those of you who have watched it and to those who left the comments and yeah i'm so so happy and the next goal is to hit a 1000 subscribers we are this 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 close guys so if you are new here please i appreciate if you hit that red subscribe button so that we can all celebrate yes 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 okay so we are not doing any unboxing or bag reviews today um i am going to talk about how i respond or react to negative comments <laughs> and uh, i don't know guys if you have received some negative comments um and i'm curious to know how you react and respond to it to be honest i am not hurt or offended at all i am okay i just love at those comments what I did is I have deleted some of them because I find it's a waste of time you know but I'll be hypocrite if I did not react on a certain way like you know like seriously I'm like the first comment that puzzled me is this one the person said something like you need to buy a new bed set or a new bed something like that so my initial reaction to that is seriously i'm like you are supposed to be watching a home furniture videos if that makes sense so i have a huge favor to you guys to all of you who are watching if this video is not for you please just go somewhere else though i appreciate you dropping by the next comment is do you live in an apartment and I'm like, again? I have deleted that comment because I find it's a waste of time replying to that comment because it has nothing to do with my video, if that makes sense. Again, I'm not offended. There's nothing wrong by asking questions. But look, guys, I am featuring handbags. I'm talking, let's talk something related to what I'm talking about, to the content of my video. Um, I don't know, maybe that person is just curious about where I live and, but again, I just deleted that. And the next comment is, um, this person said something like, there is no way she can afford 28 bags in one year. For sure, coach has given her a free bag to feature in her YouTube channel, something like that. Um, how I wish coach can give me a free bag to feature in this channel. If any of you guys have received a free bag from coach, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll be so, 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 so jealous. But again, I did not take that uh, comment negatively because I, for sure, she's just curious. Even myself, I could not believe that I have purchased 28 bags last year. And yeah, it's out of curiosity. I think that person is just concerned about the young generations that are watching the videos like us. We people that post, you know, luxuries, handbags, for example, um, featuring or unboxing two handbags in one month. And if this young generation are watching these videos, they will think it's normal. So I would say that it's about the influence effect on young generation. I think that's her concern and I totally understand that I get that 100% that is the reason why I always put a the beginning of my video and I always advise everyone please 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 that before you buy anything expensive or anything make sure you prioritize first the most important thing in your life as long as 
you know your situation financially and as long as you're responsible i i don't find anything wrong with it i am not 40 years of age and i worked so hard and i felt like you know what it's about time to give myself something you know and you know as long as i know my situation financially and as long as i know i'm being responsible i think i'm fine <laughs> I did respond to it and I explained why I managed to purchase 28 bags which I felt like I didn't have to explain myself but I did <laughs> um, the reason I did that is because just in case there are people or young generation boys and girls reading the comment I'm hoping that they get some inspiration to that comment um, and so I want to thank that person who left that comment because I think that topic is so important. I'm a person, guys, to be honest, I do not judge people who, you know, buy expensive stuff. Um, it's, your, it's their money. I feel like I do not have the right to question them. I do not have the right. It's their money. It's their life. They feel free to do whatever they want in their life. Okay, I, I have no right at all. <laughs> um, Although, yes, we are curious, okay, people, I can understand that again. And oh my god, you won't believe this, guys. This comment, I have deleted it right away. Um, this person said something like, um, what a piece of junk. It doesn't worth anything or they don't worth anything. Something along that line. And I'm like, seriously? Uh, holy moly. This person just called my collection a junk a junk i know for sure that there are so many people that love coach bags or love coach brand so i don't know how would you react to that comment guys like again guys if this video or if this content is not for you please just go somewhere else watch something else watch another video go to a different channel look i am not offended at all but i am hurt for some people in general because there are people who cannot afford a 20 dollars or 50 dollars worth of bag or anything so if this person is calling my 800 dollars bag or my 1000 dollars bag a junk what do you think this guy is going to say to these people who are buying $20, $50 or who these people can't even afford them, you know? I just don't understand these people belittling people, which I understand. Coach bag prices are nothing compared to Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Loueve, Dior or YSL or, you know, whatever. But you know what, guys? It's not about the price tag. It's not about the cost it's the value okay it's about how you value your things how you value almost everything in your life i don't know maybe this person is having a problem or issue with his personal life i don't know i don't know i just don't understand why people can be so nasty and rude to other people although i understand this is a free world it's a free country you can say whatever you want and so yeah those are the negative comments that i actually received so far i just want to share it with you guys um because i'm curious to know if you have received some negative comments and how you react or respond to it okay let's proceed to my 2024 wish list enough of those negative comments um so i'm gonna pick five or six bags for this year i know because i have purchased 28 bags coach brand alone my friend Joan of Jojo's Lock Shocks, uh, we were talking about, you know, how many bags we want to buy this year. So we'll definitely need to downsize. <laughs> um, so yeah, I promised myself I'm going to pick five or purchase five or maximum six, maybe. And so the first bag that's on my wish list is the Coach Kilted Tabby. Okay, this one is considered thick because it is actually arriving very soon i have ordered it online <laughs> so it's really really coming very soon uh it has arrived in australia a few days ago um unfortunately we only have the chalk and black however the black i was expecting it to be with um 
the silver hardware or at least the brass hardware however it came with the pewter or gunmetal hardware and i'm kind of worried about that I'm, I'm i'm not sure about that so i picked the chalk and it's coming very very soon so it's thick <laughs> okay, and the second bag on my wish list is the soft fleming convertible shorty bag from tory birch i have been wanting to get this bag since last year um so hopefully i'll be able to get this bag this year and the third bag on my wish list is from polen it is called the seam or sime tote bag it's spelled c-y-m-e so i don't know exactly how to pronounce it i'm so sorry um I thought it's so 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 pretty I know I just don't know or not sure which color to pick because um, they have I believe three or four different colors um, but most probably the black or the one in it's like oh god the taupe also they have two sizes they have the small and the large one so I don't know the problem is we don't have a pollen store or boutique here in Australia so there's no way for me to see it in person uh, so that's kind of challenging for me and the fourth one is from Longchamp uh, oh my god there are so many bags that I want to buy from Longchamp but if I have to pick one it would be the oh my god I don't know how to pronounce it I'm just gonna write it here I'm just gonna write it here. I don't know how to say it um yeah i will pick this one and what i love about longchamp is just they have you know the 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 variety of colors that they have whenever i go into their shop or boutique oh my god i feel like i want to buy everything <laughs> the co it's so colorful so vibrant it just brighten up my mood it's brightening up my day it's just so beautiful they have green orange red just name it they have yellow it's just so 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 beautiful and yeah i love long chop. and the fifth one is from mark jacobs i want to get another tote bag from from this brand uh, but i already have the small tote bag in citronelle and so i thought why not getting another one but the medium size a slightly bigger one uh, I want to get the one in cement color what I love about this tote bag is the leather the leather is so 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 amazing it's so durable I don't have to babysit my bag um, my citronel bag oh my god I just put it anywhere <laughs> I don't have to worry about it getting dirt or anything it's so easy to clean I know some people are not a fan of the large tote bag lettering on the front of the bag but to me it's not a big deal I don't mind it's all right uh, you can you can carry it uh, back to front anyway so if you're worried about the large lettering on the front you just carry it the other way just against your your body so that people won't see that large tote bag from Mark Jacobs you know <laughs> Uh, and I get that I understand um, and the next one is oh my god this one I've always wanted to get a bag from Mulberry oh yes this one here I'm just gonna put it here on the screen I just can't is it the Alexa Alexa I think anyway yeah honestly guys I am NOT a pink person if you've noticed I do not have a pink bag yet in my collection <laughs> um, do I have yes no I don't have um, but when I saw this one, this bright pink, oh my goodness me, it's so, so, so pretty. But it may change. It may change. Because, you know, I my favorite color is green, so it may change to green. It may change to, to black. You don't, you don't know. I just don't know. It may change. And the last one is from Furla. I know this brand is so underrated, um, which kind of make me feel sad um, because I think the frilla leather quality is also amazing um it's made in italy if i'm not mistaken and yeah and this one that i want to get from frilla is the genesee genesee tote um they have so many different colors um but i want to get the oh 
the neutral, the tan or brown, or the navy blue. Oh, it is so, 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 so pretty. It's so, so, so beautiful. But yeah, so they have the small, the medium. Oh no, they have two sizes only. There are two sizes. And I think the large one is better, I think. So maybe it may change again. It may change. And so that's about it. And again, thank you everyone. And I'll see you next time. All right. And so have a lovely weekend wherever you are. Be good, be safe, be kind. Bye. Mm -hmm.